clergy and laity united for economic justice and community allies held a prayer vigil calling for justice and solidarity for vulnerable communities in front of Long Beach City Hall. Nicole Kababa of the Filipino Migrant Center describes how President Trump's immigration policy can affect the over 30,000 Filipinos in Long Beach. It really warms my heart to see everyone here today in the city of Long Beach, my hometown. Um, I'm with the Filipino Migrant Center, a nonprofit serving low-income Filipinos throughout our city, throughout uh, Southern California. There are over 25,000, upwards to 30,000 uh, Filipino immigrants here in the city of Long Beach. Um, and so we are here today because we know that it is important um, to show unity and to be together, to rise up against uh, these executive orders, these attacks on our families. I think what's really inspiring and what we've already heard is that there are churches, a growing list of churches that are becoming sanctuaries for our communities. But what you might not know is there's also a growing list of schools that are also interested in becoming sanctuary schools. And so we should support our faculty, our administration, our students, who uh, oftentimes now we are hearing stories of students getting bullied by even their classmates, um, threatening uh, you know, deportation and the teasing and the, the endless attacks, even at um, young elementary grade levels. Um, we also invite you to be part of this growing movement to make sure that the city of Long Beach becomes a sanctuary city. Am I right? We are calling on our city leaders. We are thankful that they came here today, but there is still more action that is needed. We need words that can be turned into action. We need them to really step up and do the courageous step of really designating the city of Long Beach as a sanctuary city. And we don't want just a resolution that has no teeth. We really want a policy that will step up to protect our immigrant families. We want a meaningful policy that will ensure that the religious freedoms of everyone are also protected as our Muslim communities are under attack. We want to make sure to protect sensitive information of our communities as well. We don't want the city of Long Beach to use a single dime uh, in terms of immigration enforcement because that is not their job, that is not their role. They should not be acting as ICE officers. Am I right? <laughs> we also want all of the city staff and city agents and local police enforcement to go through training that will ensure that we protect our communities instead of trying to imprison our communities for low level offenses. The city should adopt a policy that would encourage officers to use maximum discretion. We would ensure that we resist any improper effort by the federal government to withhold federal funding in the case of the city of Long Beach becoming a sanctuary. Am I right? So we welcome all of you to join us. Many of the organizations that put forth this vigil today are part of the May Day Long Beach Coalition. The May Day Long Beach Coalition stands up for immigrants, stands up for working families, stands up for all of our communities. And it really is through unity. Unity really is our strength. But solidarity is our weapon. Our weapon against hate, our weapon against an administration that is going to unleash even more attacks. But what's inspiring is how many of you went out on January 20th or January 21st on the streets? Raise your hand. That weekend, the United States, throughout the United States, cities all across the, U the U.S. rose up in an opposition of the, in an administration that proves itself to be anti-people. And it was a day that we made history. Not only the U.S., but millions, over three million protested. And that says something, right? And so here in Long Beach, we have a direct responsibility to not just do this as individuals, but to organize in our communities, organize in our churches, our schools, and every block. Invite new people to be part of this movement. Because this is how we're going to make a difference. This is how we're going to create change and make history. We're going to make sure to protect all immigrants and all refugees. Sanctuary, not deportation. Sanctuary, not deportation. Sanctuary, not deportation. So while the city here is considering um, the sanctuary state policy, we want them to not stop there. That is not the end of the road. It is only the beginning. 
and we need to encourage them to fight for a sanctuary city policy that will actually protect our communities. So thank you all for, for being here and we invite you to join an organization. If you're not already a part of one, be part of the movement. Thank you.